God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But the generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasia Tabo, Mecca Baba, Kamande Kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want the generation, we offer you on. Let the waitings come to an end. If somebody says, How do you know that you are growing spiritually? It means that you will need to take out time to compare your expressed character, not possessed though. Because somebody can say, I'm a gentle person, no, it's, it's just that. I need to treat this guy's misbehavior. You have not found it. You know that I put like that. But, uh, I didn't know you were this, this arrogant. See, I'm humble. It's just that. Uh, they need to feel me small. You have not found it. It's, it's, it's your, it's, it's, it's your, it, Jesus' expressions were his perfect state, were his permanent state. It was not, it was not changing Express character along the lines of emotional. Let me be nice to this person. Let me be nice to that one. No. So, how you can know that you are growing spiritually? You will begin your journey as a seeker of the Christ. If you don't know the metric system, if you don't know the measurement, you think you are growing tall. You know how you can look at yourself and say, Oh, I've had that weight too. I've had that weight. And when you stand on the weighing scale, you find out that. I've lost two kg. Say, but I, I feel no. It is because it is not given to you to be able to know growth in isolation. Growth is supposed to happen in fellowship. It means fellowship will also reveal to you who you are. So, Toluwa, Nimi, when last did you go to the Holy Spirit to ask how much in the last one month you have conformed to the Christ? There are measurements that we don't need to struggle into. Fellowship is what grows us or matures us into the Christ. Fellowship is also what reveals to us how much we have grown. So if you are in fellowship, you shouldn't be stagnant for so long if your fellowship with the Holy Spirit is good. He will have challenged you. So that's how you know that you are growing spiritually. In your books, you should have a report, a report book where you write the things that the Holy Spirit is convicting you of as regards your maturation into the Christ. That's basic measurement. Now, the people around you who also know the Christ, that's why you need to surround yourself with people who are on the same journey that you are on. So that those people can also tell you Ah, but Jesus will not act like that. It means you are default. And some of them are very observant that, you know, two years ago, when they did this thing to you, you reacted the same way. It means you have wasted two years on the same spot. It's not a bad thing. If you have wasted two years on the same spot, it only becomes a bad thing if you have plans to waste the next two years. Are you with me? So that's how we measure it. Because it is given in fellowship, it can be measured in fellowship. The Holy Spirit is not just a revelatory spirit. It's not just the inspirational spirit. It's not just a soothing spirit. It's also a convicting spirit. And his convicting ministry is captured within the context of his fellowship with the believer. If he has never convicted you, you are not on the path. To, you are far away. Far away. He does not condemn, but he convicts. It means he brings us into the knowledge of our misalignments. Your master is not like this. And then you cry. She said, Godly sorrow. Walk at what? Repentance. So when you repent, you continue your journey. Amen. Is there any proof physically? Yes. Because Jesus trying to replicate in his disciples in Matthew chapter 5 um, the use of a metaphor 
that he had applied to himself. He had said to them, I am the light of the world. He comes in Matthew chapter 5 and says to his disciples, Ye are the light of the world. 5.14 A city that is set on the hill that cannot be hid. Verse 15 No man lights a lamp and puts it under a bushel, but on the candlestick that it gives light to all those who are in the house. He now said to them, Let your light You have light. But push it to the next. Allow it to come into its next expression. That they may. That's how spiritual growth shows. It manifests in good works. People can't see what's going on inside. If you like, you can call them works of goodness. What was the testimony in Acts chapter 10 verse 38 of the Lord? How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about. It means that the one who is advancing into the stature of the Christ will also be replicating the works of the Christ. So if you went about doing good, the world also wants to see your good works. On my trip, I was trying to buy bread. When I passed through that place, I'd like to buy the bread. It's, they don't do too many loaves of bread every day. I think they do about 40 pieces. The man is not looking for money. His house is like an estate. It's an allergy. He has like three wives. But their bread is, is made outside the earth. It's, I mean, it's very salt. Very, it's, it's bread. When you eat that one, you find out that many things you have been eating in the name of bread. Don't go by that name. Yes. The bread is so nice that you will be satisfied not eating it with anything. So the last time I went there, I didn't know the man was the owner. Because an elderly man. And he doesn't dress too. I just see him hanging around there. They have all these northern megats. Plenty of them. So I felt the Baba was just one of them. So I walked into very, very nicely designed store. And it's just those few loaves of bread. So I said, today's bread. Oh, he says, today's bread, oh, they always sell here. Okay. So I took one. Maybe about 800 now. And I said, sorry, Baba, you want to buy bread? He said, why are you asking? I said, because they are smaller loaves. So, I was thinking that we could sh- I could take a smaller loaf so that I could pay your for your own bread too. And he looked at me and said, "Ha, huh, this young man." He said, "I'm the owner." Oh. So I I, I calmed down. And I said, "Oh, my, so I began to speak about the bread." Well, I still paid for my bread. I know some of you think, maybe I got it free. No, I still paid for it. I collected my change. He now said, young man, come back. So I came back. He now said, that good thing that you wanted to do, you're already blessed for it. That even though I didn't buy bread for him, the blessing that was supposed to accrue to me, it was honor. It was honor that I already have the blessing. There's something that people should see that should make you know that you are different. I can't remember where I was teaching. There was somewhere I was teaching and I spoke about the Ten Commandments recently. That there was a reason why God gave the children of Israel the Ten Commandments. It was to create a physical distinction between them and the people of the land. So when he said, thou shalt have no other God before me, the only way to define a Jew will be the one who doesn't bow to strangeness. Are you with me? Honor your father and mother. The children of the land were arrogant children. When they saw their parents, there was a way they accosted them. And so God wanted to make sure that a Jew does not look like those people. Ease of identification that the people of the land steal. If you don't steal, you are different. The people of the land kill at will, but God painted this difference so strong that even in cropping, even in cropping, and it was preservative. 
that you don't do mixed crop. You know, Jews don't do mixed cropping. You know the reason? There are times when pests come. You know, these pest attacks. You just see low cost. Like in one African country, they are eating everything. When these pests, they, these pests by themselves can identify the, land, the, the field of a Jew because there's no intercrop. If, if a strange heart man wants to bring his cow to eat their yam, that time I'm not talking about now, the heart, because people have been eating people's yams since, since scriptures. Cattle rustling is as old as the Bible. They call them the child yams. They don't farm. When you are hoeing, they just check. This one has prospect. Say, maize will come out of here. When you are harvesting, they know it's, it's labor. When you have packed into the cart, the, the Bible always uses the word, the Chaldeans fell upon. That's how they come. They come like rain. They just, it's, it's land and grab. That's what they do. Even in scriptures, land grabbers were in scriptures. They were not only stealing land, they were claiming wells. So, so there's no new thing under the sun. It means if you want to deal with a land grabber, you need to go to scriptures and find how they dealt with them. So when we bought land and they started wrestling with us, how many people remember that story? Say it's your land, it's your land, it's your land, it's your land. We struggled for a few days. They now started breaking our corner pieces. I now, from Benin, now signal to the man. I called the man. I said, are you plenty your family? He said, Why? I said, because if you break one block, somebody will die. If you break one block, somebody will die. Say, at least one corner piece is like six blocks. <laughs> when you lose six, you will calm down. Say, I cannot be using God's money to build block home, And you will be breaking it. It was the same caveat I left at that gate. If you tear, I told the gate men, tell the people that are attacking our posters if they tear one more they will paste one obituary if they tear another one they will paste one obituary the bible says because when the judgments of god are in the earth the men yes we learn righteousness it's not everybody's wall that you can break don't do it so when the contention started we told them to return our money from the land they say no we have used your money to, to build another house somewhere else Eight million. I said, it's not a problem. They say, if you like, go to the police and say that we're owing you money. We'll say we're owing. We'll pay when we want to pay. I told them I will never ask you again. God's money. If my God cannot collect his money from you, he's not worth serving. The head of the family became sick nigh unto death in two days. Left where he was and came to camp here that wanted to see me. And I told him I'm a traveling minister. You, you got to be here for long. He was sick for four days. That's how we prevailed. He was sick for four days. He said, I have all the eight million. I said, I didn't see you to pay it. You go to the lawyer, you pay in the bank. When I get the alert, <laughs> you are home and dry. And when I got the alert, that night he was well. And I returned back to where he came from. Maybe it was my thing. God won't defend it like that. But this God... I fear him and people will fear him. But we didn't stay on that land. It was not worth contending. Because we have a pattern in scriptures. That if they wrestle one, you can stay there and be wrestling all your life. What you do is you shift. But in your real boot, God will not allow you to be moved. And why I decided to move was because I knew that real boot was not about new land. Check scriptures. He that too has the Lord brought us. No, no. Real boat is um, yes. He has given us room and we shall help me find the verse. There are two things that attach real boat. It's not just room. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sorry, I, I just love the Bible. So, We are now. He removed from thence and digged another well, and for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth and said, For now the Lord hath made room for us 
and we shall be fruitful in the land so i understand that in that movement we will not just have room it will be an opening of fruitfulness so i decided to take side with room and fruitfulness instead of striving and that's why we left that one and got this one more expensive but no son or the devil will send us away from that place why i painted that picture is that the way i related with those people is part of good works justice is good i didn't shout to say it to i said it quietly the lawyer now called me and said ah pastor <laughs> because that man swore the person i threatened like that that he will say him he will never he will never come to that land again yes he should not come it's good works justice is good works taking sides with god defending the oppressed is good works i was walking on the other side of the road there and i saw two miscreants trying to to obtain one brother they had collected his purse and they were opening his purse so i screamed from the other side of the road what are you doing there they were acting like they didn't see me so i crossed and my warning was you don't do these things when we have not traveled do you want to have one experience when one brother three we were two two see you did not climb bike coming from church because you did not climb back we still collect bike money from you well, what kind of business is that so i called her come tell the brother to meet me i was just driving and then the guys drove woo, 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 parked in front of the car and we're coming so i put one leg out of the car and said in me in this town you are coming to meet me with boldness like that so the guy knelt down and crawled how we didn't know you had the ones i said if you continue this thing it will be safer with the police than if you fall into my hand i know your household and i told him where he was living he said no the other friend said that's where he's living i said i know his house i don't need to go to your address where i stand knows your house so i know it and i told him so it's not guesswork so it means you can be visited say but we are hungry i say i know if you are hungry you open your mouth and say help us we'll give you money but you can't be like that every town has judges good works if you have not matured into authority you are not doing well because it means that some people will be oppressed without a deliverer are you with me so there's proof as you are coming into more of the christ you come into the fellowship of the sharing of his throne it means you can do more business for him because your natures have been synchronized so there's proof the things you can do miracles is also good works bringing timely interventions is always good works getting answers for people is also good works amen so that's the physical proof uh, give me give me the question there's a third one there so it's physical it's physical uh, what's the third one ah oh god philip oh yeah oh yeah no there are three questions there was what is um no there's no what is preacher okay two apps okay okay sorry sorry god bless you thank you for your good works god has an expectation god has a plan to see his expectation met but the generation must come in alignment and we say yes to jesus ibarasya tabo meka baba kamande kaidatos we will hold nothing, Jesus. You want a generation. We offer you one. Let the waitings come to an end. <laughs>